Andy Green of SeaTech, and I'm here today to discuss how, in the wake of Grenfell, new fire detection and alarm system technology, and how it is applied, can be better used to protect people and property. To do this, I'm going to give you a working demonstration of SeaTech's new Hush Pro fire alarm solution. Hush Pro comprises a series of individual grade C monitored fire detection and alarm systems, all designed to BS5839 part six that are typically installed in individual flats or apartments like this. These individual fire systems can then be interfaced to a communal or landlord system to provide added protection, the benefits of which I will discuss later. Let's begin by taking a look at how Hush Pro works in an individual dwelling. Central to the system is the Hush Grade C controller, which is typically located in an apartment's entranceway, as you can see here. The controller is powered by a separate power supply connected to the mains, and on the back of the controller itself is a battery providing 72 hours standby time. This battery is capable of powering all of the dwelling's devices should the mains fail, meaning the system is very environmentally friendly compared to other systems which typically have a battery in every device. Grade C means Hush Pro has certain advantages over other lower grade systems, such as monitoring of all of the system's wiring and devices. So for example, should there be a fault on the wiring, it will flag as a fault of the Hush controller. Such a fault is brought to the attention of the occupant by a buzzer sounding. The occupant can then come along and press hush to silence the fault for 24 hours. The idea being they contact their landlord and ask them to fix the fault. If the fault is not fixed in another 24 hours, the buzzer will sound again to ensure the fault is not forgotten about. This ensures the building occupant is aware that their system may be compromised. This level of fault monitoring is not needed or provided on many lower grade systems. With Hush Pro, SeaTech has introduced the concept of Fire Level 1 and Fire Level 2 alarm conditions. A Fire Level 1 alarm could be triggered by, say, the optical element of a multi-sensor activating, perhaps because somebody has burnt the toast. In a Fire Level 1 condition, which is likely to be a false alarm, the dwelling sounders will sound and the building occupant can go to the controller press the hush button to silence the alarm while they investigate. As you can see, you can press the hush button while standing at floor level without having to climb on a chair or a set of ladders. This means the system is safer and fully compliant with the Equality Act. Whilst the system is hushed, the controller regularly checks to see if the fire level 1 alarm trigger is cleared. If it has, the hush controller will return to its normal state, which can take anything from 10 to 15 seconds. If the smoke doesn't clear within two minutes, the alarm resounds for the occupant to deal with as appropriate. Now there's also the fire level two trigger. Now a fire level two alarm may trigger if perhaps the multi-sensors heat element is triggered. Typically these are established fires which can be regarded as confirmed fire conditions. Fire level two alarms cannot be silenced and if it is your flat that is on fire, at this stage you would normally leave your flat and call 999. Other ways a fire level 2 alarm condition could be triggered is maybe two detectors operating at the same time, also known as coincidence, or maybe a detector that has been in an alarm condition for a prolonged period. Both of those scenarios you can regard those fire conditions as being confirmed alarms. There's also a test facility on the hush controller, so when the system is in its normal state, you can come along and press and hold the test button, which will sound the fire level 1 and fire level 2 alarm tones. Incidentally, because Hush Pro's field devices are designed to the EM54 series of commercial product standards, its alarm devices include frequencies that are much more likely to wake a sleeping child or maybe an adult with hearing loss, and its fire detectors include technology and algorithms that are much more resistant to false alarms caused by steam. By adding additional devices, you can use the system in bigger dwellings than the one I am in today, and there's also options such as weatherproof sounders for outside areas, which you could use maybe on a balcony, if of course you're lucky enough to be in a flat that has a balcony. 
So that's the Hush Pro solution when it's used in a standalone situation. You can also do things with it as well, such as cut off uh, the supply to a gas cooker maybe, in a fire level one or two condition, or you could monitor sprinkler flow switches. So all in all, it's a very powerful solution. That's Hush when used in a standalone situation. I'm now going to talk about Hush Pro when multiple individual systems are connected to a landlord system. And that's when you see the real power of Hush Pro coming into effect. So as I explained, the real power of Hush Pro comes when it's connected to a landlord system, such as the ZFP CAS system you can see here in the reception area of a purpose-built block of flats. But to show you the real benefits of this integrated setup, the best way to do it is using one of CTEC's training rigs, which I'm going to do right now downstairs. Okay, we are now in one of CTEC's training rooms. On this particular demo rig you can see here, this is one individual dwelling upon a floor of a tower block. This dwelling is a standalone grade C system. You've got your Hush Pro controller and three field devices. That's two detectors and one sound of VAD. Grade C systems like this will be fitted in every individual dwelling throughout the entire entire tower block. Now the tower block itself is connected to a ZFP cast fire panel. You can see that over there, which in turn is connected to CTEX Fire IoT cloud-based monitoring software. So each individual dwelling now is interconnected by a landlord interface unit. So each different dwelling's grade C fire alarm system connects to the monitoring landlord system that you can see over there. This is on the addressable loop, so everything is monitored. Okay, so in such purpose-built buildings, there is good fire compartmentalization in place. So each individual dwelling would be protected from the fire spreading for a good period of time. Now, that's fine. And in such buildings, typically a stay put policy is in place. Most of the time that works great. But sadly, most notably at Grenfell, there are occasions when stay put fails. So what we are doing with this particular solution is we are using the individual grade C fire alarm systems in each individual dwelling, which are connected to the ZFP CAS fire panel and monitored off site to, we believe, enhance stay put and provide a good plan B solution should stay put fail. And to explain how this integrated solution works properly, I'm going to start by giving you a demonstration of the individual dwelling system whilst connected to the landlord system. Okay, so the individual dwelling, as we have said, is connected to the landlord monitoring panel. Now, should a fault occur in the dwelling, maybe because somebody has removed a detector head or the wiring has been damaged, the fault, when it happens, will flag at the hush controller, but also it is now being flagged at the fire panel itself and also in the cloud in the monitoring software. The occupant can still silence the fault for 24 hours, but the fact that it's been logged at the panel and off site means the responsible person, the landlord, does know that potentially there's a compromised fire alarm system in that particular dwelling. Faults are non-latching, so they will eventually clear. With Hush Pro, of course, we've also got the Fire Level 1 and Fire Level 2 alarm scenarios. Now, Fire Level 1, as we discussed before, is potentially a false alarm. Maybe the toast has been burnt in the kitchen and the optical element of the multi-sensor in the open plan lounge area has picked that up. That will flag a Fire Level 1 alarm which will be reported on this particular dwelling on this particular floor. So we'll trigger fire level one now. Okay, as fire level one is typically and likely to be an unwanted or false alarm, it isn't reported on the ZFP's panel display, although it is logged at the panel, but it is reported off-site via the cloud-based monitoring software. Once the false alarm, if it is a false alarm, has been cleared, the system will reset as normal. 
With Hush Pro, we've also got the Fire Level 2 scenario. So as I explained before, that is potentially Fire Level 1 has been in situation for a while, the fire has spread, and maybe the heat element of the multi-sensor is then triggered. We can regard that as a confirmed alarm signal. And in such situations, would it not make sense if the fire was in this particular dwelling to warn other dwellings on that floor that there's a fire? Well, using the cause and effects on the landlord panel, we can do just that. So if I now, first of all, generate a fire level one alarm that then expands to a fire level two alarm, we will see that in action. So first of all, fire level one, which is local, Moving to fire level two. Because this is a fire level two situation, what we regard as a confirmed alarm, it is showing on the panel display and it is also being reported clearly off site as well. Now, if we just step back a little bit, you may decide that you don't want to evacuate the entire floor Maybe you're concerned that smoke creeping through these fire exits or these fire doors may result in this corridor being smoke filled. You have got the ability with the cause and effects to maybe, if that goes into fire, just evacuate this part of the floor. Or alternatively, you can leave the entire decision to the fire brigade. Now the fire and rescue services will now know about the fire. It's been reported off site, it's been reported at the panel, so they will now turn up on site and they can make the decisions about what to do themselves. So all of the panel's key switches are programmed via the ZFP's cause and effects to operate on a floor by floor basis. So the fire services have arrived, they realize and know that the fire is on floor five. They're concerned that the fire may spread. So instead of the climbing the stairs, all they need to do now is decide, let's evacuate floor six. They flick a switch, which evacuates floor six. Fire has been reported in the building. Please evacuate immediately. This sounds what we call a fire level three evacuation alert tone and an optional voice message on that floor. They may then decide to do a phased evacuation with floor four next, then maybe three, two, and one, until the entire building, should they so wish, has been evacuated and every single one of those key switch actions are being logged in the cloud as well. So you can see that the floors of the building are being evacuated on a floor by floor basis. So in a nutshell, that's Hush Pro. It's British built, it's available to purchase now, and it has the ability to transform fire protection in residential dwellings, not just buildings and tower blocks like this, but also family dwellings as well. It offers BS5839 Part 6 protection in individual flats. A low level controller which is much more accessible. Substantial lifetime ownership cost reductions. For example, you don't necessarily have to change the devices after 10 years. It's environmentally friendly. It takes 50% less power than many lower grade solutions. The devices are smaller and use less plastic and typically you only need one battery per flat. In a nutshell, as I say, it protects people and property properly. It's designed to make people safer. As the individual systems are connected to a landlord system, you can do things like monitor the sprinkler system on an individual flat by flat basis, or maybe if the sprinkler flow switch is on the on a floor, it could do it on a floor by floor basis. It's a good all round solution. You've got your fire level one, fire level two, and fire level three alarms, clearly differentiated against. Everything's logged. You can see if a fire is spreading. You've got dynamic and automatic phased evacuation if you wish, or there's facilities there for the fire services to come along. They know best and they can evacuate the building as they see fit. It's a great alternative or enhancement to stay put. It's a plan B solution. The technology is here now, and thanks for listening.